Whoa! That was a close one. Hello and welcome back. So today myself and Kevin Cobb, who you can kind of see behind me, uh, we're doing the Copper Coast Drive which goes from Dungarvan all the way into Waterford and a section of it, I'm not sure if all of it is, but a section of it definitely is a uh, like protected geopark which is Bunmahan to Fenner I think but basically it's all really nice cliff roads and just really good roads in general all right so now that we have a bit of daylight between us and traffic we'll get back to it so this road is a really really nice one so I know like I've recently done the you know the whole Killarney kind of mini route out to Miles Gap and through the Gap and Aloha which is also a great road but this one is more more coastal and we're just starting up on it now and absolutely stunning as well I'm going to try to bring the, uh, the Magna on more of them oh there we go, up out of it although I re would really like to swap this for a more torquey daily like a VA4 or something because it doesn't have much torque so to speak I know I was down here once and I very nearly took that turn into that house back there <laughs> also something else I would kind of like to know I put up a, a discussion thing on YouTube it's like, a, it's like a post I don't know does it work does anyone see them but all I was kind of asking was you know what what what's your favorite type of video i do because i do kind of four well i kind of grade them as four main types so um explorers which is mainly off bike videos like kilgrey castle you know there's a bit of bike still in the video but it's mainly off bike especially the bulk of the interesting content i suppose uh reviews obviously which i really enjoy doing and which by far and away have helped my channel grow it's there they're, they're considerably the most watched videos on my channel um, just because the tags I suppose and hits you know more people see them but average watch time wise and my, my roads my road series have a better average watch time um, particularly the more recent ones they've done they've done pretty well average watch time wise and then what else do we have also the maintenance and upgrade videos so well basically all I'd like to know is what, what are your favorite um, what are your favorite types of videos it'll just help me it'll help me focus on what to do more i suppose going forward because i'm gonna i'm gonna always do a mix but like say for instance if i have a slow week and i need to uh i need to make a quick video um because i don't have anything in the bank what would you rather i go do because usually i just end up doing like a a vlog which is Actually, yeah, there are, sorry, five types of videos, so there's also a vlog type video there. So, number five, vlogs, do you prefer them as well? I, I actually enjoy doing the vlog ones because it's more like a, a discussion point. Generally, I get good discussness in the uh, in the comment section, which is good. I like, I like talking about the things I post about, which is why I post about them. This road is cool. So now we're in Bon Mahan, which is... One of the villages along, I think this is the actual geopark section. So it's a, a UNESCO geopark, which is really cool. Uh, it's kind of like a protected area. Cop Coast Drive, here we are. Oh, Kev's going in here. We're going in here for now, looky see. We shan't argue with the Kev. He knows his mind. Well, you were you were there the day we came here in the fog. Yeah. We were actually... Huh? You you couldn't see a thing. It was mental. It was mental. Did you? I didn't even know they were over there. Those sea stacks. So myself and Kev were here uh, like two years ago, I think, with two other friends when it was super foggy. Um, and I tried to record actually with my little my third cam, and I, nothing ever came of it. I, I, I think I've the footage somewhere, but it was wearing on my chest mount, and it was crap. You couldn't see anything. Uh, obviously, you can see a lot more today, and it's also not super foggy today. It's really, really clear. So this is Bunmahan Strand or beach, I suppose. 
and it just looks it looks great doesn't it looks very nice i like it i think this is bone man proper there that's it right there bone man boom and that shop is seasonal so if you're coming down here and expecting some shopness uh don't because oh copper coast geopark there you go visitor centers up there I was down here on the Magna recently enough, uh, just as part of a group ride, so I am attempting to edit that. It's just, it's a, a more difficult one to edit, for multiple reasons. You'll, you'll see it if and when it comes out. I know we come up to a, an area later that's just all kind of sea cliffs, which is class. Lots of bikes out today, which is good to see, even though it's closing in on the end of October. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Unbelievable views. <laughs> All around here you have like, you know, ruins and old stone walls. I think that's part of the old geopark thing, why it's protected. But there's just so much cool stuff out here. Particularly the sea cliff views. You can't really see over the ditch much, but... I know there's bits that you do see, you have going in here, good man cave. I wanted to have another look myself. Alright, so let's try not to die. So this is why you should come here. <laughs> sea cliffs. I love me some sea cliffs I do. Even in full gear. Which makes walking difficult. Because if you were kind of to accelerate down there by accident, you're pretty dead. And by pretty dead, I mean like entirely, completely dead. Boom. Doesn't that look nice? I'll have to take some, some photo. Oh my god. Look at that. It's not even that windy today, so I can do this. Look down over there. At this class. Ugh. Whoa. Do an old. Hold on, I'll do it quick. That's kind of how, uh, how tall it is from here. Apologies if you're one of these people who are petrified of heights, as always. I'm not meaning to scare you, but I just wanted to show you. Hey Kev, you're on camera. <laughs> so, we are now walking along the cliffs. I know I've been asked by some people for more FaceTime, so this is about as good as you're going to get, because uh, I need the mic and the helmet so you can hear me. I just realised I left my keys and my mobile phone on my bike. I should probably go get them. Incredible. Looks like a thumbnail shot. Boom. <laughs> Kev is getting sick right now. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I'm trying to get a nice silent oh. video here. This is so nice. <laughs> so this whole region here now that we're walking on um, is is the, the geopark. So that's why it's a geopark. I don't think I can make it any clearer than that. It's just an unreal area, and you still have like little old ruins like that. That's Bun Man, that's where we were. We're coming all the way along here now, into Anstown, and up into Fenner. I think that's where it technically ends. And then what we're gonna try to do is keep going all the way into Tremor, and then back down to the Metal Man. I'm not gonna tell you what the Metal Man is, it'll be more of a surprise, it'll be more exciting. So the reason this place is called the Copper Coast is because, well, they used to mine copper here, I suppose. Easiest way to put it. All right, I've tucked my mic into my neck sock thing now, so hopefully you can still hear me. But yeah, so basically what I was saying was, the reason it's called the Copper Coast is because lots of copper used to be mined here. Um, it's not anymore, but it's kind of, I, I believe, part of why it's a geopark, so. There is, that probably shouldn't be open by the looks of it. 
maybe it's being done up, I don't know. There's the old mine cart. And it's not full of rubbish. Look, there's Kev wandering back up. Wave to Kev. Hey, Kev. Uh, so I'm just going to take some pictures now. One more pan shot for you. And uh, I'll cut back in after. And we're back on the road. Oh, my hip won't stop locking. There we go, that's better. So this is just a continuation. We took a, a pretty long sojourn there looking around because it was cool. But this, it just, it keeps getting more and more beautiful to be honest. If you come out here for kind of viewpoints and cliffs and stuff like that, you will not be disappointed. I can assure you of that. Oh, look at that light. It's just an expanse of cliff stuff. And some really, really nice roads. The surface of the roads is pretty good. Um, you won't get like mad surprises anywhere or anything. Obviously the same as the gap in the low. Just out, watch out for walkers and cyclists. Oh, it is pretty bumpy, but you know, you'll probably be okay. There's a common kind of pull-in spot up here if you're in a camper van or whatever else, it's a, it's a good spot to go. Ooh. So all along here now you can just pull in there and there you go, there's Kilmerton Cove. So you can camp out there, have a look. It's nice and pretty. I just, oh my god, there's someone swimming. <laughs> I would not be swimming today, I don't have the... <laughs> I don't have it in me to do that, I don't think. Oh, yay! Picnic area. So, like, there's lots of stuff here, if you're kind of just here for touristy stuff and not bike stuff. There's plenty of stuff here for that as well. Firstly, I'm here for the bike stuff. I don't need to stop too often, except to take the occasional picture. So again, you're just coming into some more absolutely gorgeous uh, sea cliff places, or a little town. Kill Britain, I think it is. I can't remember. Ooh, uh, look at that. So again, all of this, as far as I know, is still Geopark, but it's just stunning. It's probably, to be honest, right, I, I, I personally love the Gap of the Low, just because I'm a... Uh, a real mountain mountain pass kind of guy, but I know Kev, um, he really likes coastal roads, so this is probably more up his alley. But it is, it is absolutely stunning, don't get me wrong, it is, it is gorgeous. You won't find many places, I think, in the world that are prettier than that. And also, you got lots of nice twisty roads. See that sign there? People in cars see that sign and they probably don't like it very much, but for us, it's perfect. That means there's fun incoming. Yeah, they're narrow and the surface is bumpy, but sure look, you'd live with that, wouldn't you? So now we're into Anstown. Anstown is again just along that route that I showed you on the map there at the old copper mining spot. Nice little village as well. I know that would you refer to it as a village or something else, but I'm going to call it a village. I don't know fancy words, okay? And there you go, there's another beach over there that you can stop at, Anstown Beach. Or maybe it's Anstown Cove, I'm not sure. And have a look. We're nearly at Fenner, Fenner being the end of the run. Uh, I think, I think it used to be an old, um, it's to add lime to, to soil, so they used to... Yeah, they used to pack a load of like lime limestone in the top and light a fire and basically crack it all off and then they'd add that to the land as far as I remember. I'm not sh I'm not sure is that what one is, but I know this whole area had loads of them. I love that, unprotected cliff hats, they're my favourite. The protected ones are boring.
Not a bad old spot in fairness. Oh wow, a BMW driver using an indicator. And we have video evidence. Incredible. It must only be a rental, he usually drives the Toyota. Well that's kind of my point around this area. It's well worth making all those stops because it's just, it's nice and purdy. That seems to have been the end of the cliff sections. We, if you stay going along this route, you go on into uh, Tremor. So this is towards the end of the Capricorn Drive proper. We're finally back onto a single track road like I'm used to. Makes me nervous with all these two sides to a road business. Doesn't make sense to me. Don't like it. So if you own a bike and you're in Ireland, or planning on coming to Ireland, you really need to check out the Copper Coast Drive. Um, if it's not on your, your list of places to ride when you're here, it should be. If it isn't, make time for it. You won't regret it. The best time to probably come here if you want like a you know, shops to be open and stuff in summer, but if you want it to be quiet like it was today for us, then this time of year, when it's quiet, is is perfect. Uh, as long as you're okay with it being a little bit colder and you know you don't have the shops and stuff open and all that, all that good stuff. As long as you're okay with that, uh, it it does mean though that the roads are just a little bit freer, a little bit less busy. Go on, we'll fit. You're all right. See fine they looked panicked go on get in a bit get in a bit there you go oh oh haha so we're going to try to finish up this video is at a monument called the metal man and uh, we'll hopefully get there soon do you know what i think it is right i do like the coast as well but i think i prefer mountainous re regions because they're usually uh, more, more kind of forested. You know, this is very uh, blasted looking, I suppose, because obviously Ireland back in the day used to be covered in forests until we came along and chopped them all down. I prefer these landscapes just because they're, I prefer mountainous landscapes they are just less blasted looking. Like this gets absolutely hammered by wind and, and you know, sea rain. I can see the metal man over there for the whole year, pretty much the whole year. Whereas, you know, mountainous, mountainous regions, they get more kind of consistent, consistent rain. Uh, their, their climates are more controlled, I suppose. This is pretty, isn't it? Pretty road, but not good for riding on. No, sir. I'm hoping now this has brought us closer to the metal man and not further away. No, we're further away. This metal man is avoiding me. I can't. I, huh? Yeah. I can't see a way to get across to him, like legally, though. There's surely a way to get across to it, like. I have no covers to check. So the metal man stands on one of three pillars um, near Newtown Cove, which we're at there. Um, it was constructed after the loss of 360 lives on the HMS Seahorse, which uh, went down in bad weather in 1816. So obviously, look, it still stands today, and it's dressed in British sailor's clothes, blue jacket, red top, white trousers. The metal man, it's currently on private lands which is why we couldn't get into it apparently because their three pillars are on unprotected sea cliffs and are apparently quite dangerous uh, i don't think that's really that big of a deal i'd like to be able to go see it but sure look we have to deal with that um it was designed by thomas kirk and there was supposed to be four figures made but only two were the other figure uh resides in the water of sligo bay at ross's point so we'll have to go there and have a look too so yeah that's the story of the metal man but there he is, pointing out to sea at absolutely nothing. Because he doesn't have much going on in his life. The poor fella, he looks very lonely. So if you've watched, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the nice scenic roads and whatnot. 
and uh, yeah until next time which I don't know what it's going to be the question asked earlier maybe let me know and I'll do one of those videos for later on in the week so yeah until then um, yeah don't forget to like share subscribe hit the bell all that good stuff so from Kev it's a goodbye say goodbye Kev he said goodbye Kev which is weird because he's saying goodbye to himself odd a strange boy is Kev I've always said it anyway yes I'm leaving now right adios so out here amongst all this beauty all of it and this wind and this cold and this Kev which is maybe what caused it maybe they saw him and just couldn't control themselves we found something else panties so <laughs> after doing what they were going to do they clearly didn't want them back again I'm gonna show you. Maybe, maybe maybe someone shot themselves we can't discount that so uh to finish off this video my question for you put it in the comments lacy or what's the other one that's not lacy cotton oh yeah boom lacy or cotton in the comments that's the that's the outro challenge today <laughs> All right, adios.